Going back into the workforce after the age of 50 can be intimidating. In fact, it's that age group that has the largest increase in long-term unemployment and the least likelihood of finding jobs. But tonight, we want to tell you about a new program that involves the AARP Foundation and Austin Community College. KXAN's Amanda Brandeis has the details on what it is and how it can help. Well, this program is for people over 50 and particularly women. They're learning how to network and are gaining new skills. The ladies I met today say they're ready to get back to work. Many of you are caregivers. You have raised children. To be competitive in the job market, you need to reshift your focus away from your children, your grandchildren, to yourself. Uncertainty is a trait you don't want on your resume. The jobs of today are not the same as the jobs of yesterday. People, places are changing all the time. And, and I'm like, well, which skill set should I focus on now? That's going to give me an edge to apply for a job. To be honest, I mean, I'm an old horse going out into the field with a lot of young horses. But with training and the will to work, uncertainty can be replaced with preparedness. In addition to showing you in-demand jobs, we want you to know that employers tell us that they're looking for you. You know, everybody's allowed a chapter two, and I've had a lot of chapters. Each woman a different reason for picking up the pen. When my mom got sick, I made the decision to go ahead and put priority on things that were more important to me. Ladies will learn computer skills, how to apply online, and how to create a resume. They'll also be able to market themselves to potential employers. This group of women that I've seen are really sharp. I, I'm very encouraged that we will be able to find jobs for them. I really am. It's unknown territory, but with good directions, these job seekers are getting prepared for the road ahead. Now, there are limited spots for this training, but other avenues if you don't get in, job clubs or federal and local programs. To learn when the next information session is, find this story on KXAN.com, and men are also welcome to attend. Amanda Brandeis, KXAN News.